Well, in my last video, I said that there is another dedicated home bridge like system just for cameras called scripted. Now, when combined together, they are a dynamic duo for your smart home. Now, just with a Raspberry Pi, let's learn to install scripted in one easy way with Homebridge. Well, at one point in time, I literally thought about doing a video on Homebridge versus scripted. But I said to myself, if Homebridge is HomeKit support for the impatient, and scripted on the other hand is a platform focused on seamless video camera streaming, then I said to myself, it doesn't matter if their end use is different, but if combined together on the same hardware, then this is going to be a dynamic duo for any HomeKit enabled smart home. Anyways, if you're into smart home DIY and obviously love the Apple HomeKit ecosystem, then I have done tons of home bridge tutorial videos that you can literally use right now. So pretty please do take a look and don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. So this video is a beginning of a series dedicated to scripted. The same way I did for Homebridge. I'll start with a couple of installation videos and then from there I'll also go into plugin tutorial videos. But here's the catch. The entire series will be done with scripted and Homebridge installed on the same hardware. So for all of this to work with scripted, we will need definitely a Raspberry Pi. We will also need Homebridge running on your network. In my case, it's already installed in this Argon 1 M.2 case with a Raspberry Pi 4. And don't worry, in the description, I also have links to tutorial videos on how to set up Homebridge. As always, I've also broken down the video into four parts with their timestamps in the description. There, what is scripted? Two, which Raspberry Pi we will need for both scripted and Homebridge to work together cause we need to set a baseline for the hardware. Three, we will install scripted in one easy way using a magical script. And then from there, we will also look at an alternative way to install scripted using just Linux commands. So let's not waste any more time like I always say, and let's jump into this tutorial. So what is scripted? Well, scripted is an independent system just like Homebridge that runs on its own. It's an a home automation platform primarily focusing on making camera experience seamless. So it is a system dedicated for camera streaming and for managing all of your camera feeds. So it's an independent system, just like Homebridge, just like Home Assistant, OpenHab. Uh, it works on its own. So you could run the system even without uh, Homebridge and also manage your uh, cameras plus other uh, devices as well. So this is the GitHub page of the developer. So one of the good things about using script and a lot of people talk about it is that the video loads instantly and uh, you can get your camera feeds on your smartphone if you're using Apple HomeKit or any other uh, streaming uh, software. So it has an instant loading of the camera feed. And then from the script, it also supports HomeKit secure video. You can also use Google Home support as well as Alexa support. And it's got a fantastic dashboard where you can do multiple things within it. Now script it on its own also has plugins. So there are all, uh, all together 84 plugins that you can connect so Hue, Unify Protect, LifeX and other uh, plugins as well. It's a very limited uh, plugin database. You can also connect with their uh, community. So if you go to Scripted, you can connect on with them on Discord. It has a fantastic community. This is a good place if you want to go and get uh, answers to your questions or answers to your configuration or if you're stuck somewhere, this is a fantastic place. So don't forget to join the Discord. They also have a Reddit community. Uh, around 700 uh, members. So I'll add that uh, uh, link into the description so you can join the community as well and get uh, exceptional support for anything related with your cameras and uh, configurations and uh, getting the best out of scripted. Now from here, the next question is, which Raspberry Pi can I use with scripted? First, you can start with the Raspberry 3, uh, 3B Plus, which has a one GB RAM, perfect for this running scripted. Now, the moment you add in another independent home automation platform like Homebridge, they're gonna start sharing resources like your uh, memory, your CPU. So you're gonna start sharing hardware resources and this kind of puts a strain on the hardware. So my recommendation is when you wanna run Homebridge and scripted together, at a minimum, Raspberry Pi 4, 
with the 2 GB RAM. So with this, they run independently. You can have your feeds loading faster. All of your plugins that are working with Homebridge also connect and uh, work properly on your local network. So for Raspberry Pi, if you're just running scripted, you can use the 3B plus, but if you're running both, my recommendation is to go for the Raspberry Pi for at a minimum with a 2 GB. So that's with the Raspberry Pi uh, hardware. So this is the baseline when you want to run both together. Now from here, we're going to go into the installation uh, for this scripted and home bridge together. Now the way I chose is to install uh, via Docker on your existing home bridge setup. I tested and you can install it with the Raspberry 3B plus, but the problem is it kind of starts putting a strain with the one GB RAM. So you only have around about 450 or 500 MB remaining. So my recommendation again, go towards the Raspberry Pi 4, but if you want to test it, it's a fantastic way as well. So the way I did it was I created a script. So it just avoids you from uh, copying, pasting, and it just simplifies the whole setup. So what I've done is in this script, you're going to go first and update all of the uh, system files of your Raspberry Pi that have with Homebridge running with Linux. So we update all of those packages. Then from there, we will go and install the Docker application. Then we will also install Portainer. So this uh, gives you a graphical user interface to access your Docker containers. And then very important, we're going to install Watchtower. So this automatically updates the container is also recommended by the developer of scripted. And then from there, we're going to go into installing the scripted Docker container. So all in all, this entire script takes between seven to 12 minutes, depending on your internet connection. Now, before you go and install this system, since it's another independent system, my recommendation is go ahead and first do a backup. So you want to click on the three dots on the top right hand corner, click on backup and restore, and you want to click on download backup archive okay so if anything goes south even if you have to reflash your home bridge you have this uh, backup to restore and have your system back online so what we're going to do first is go ahead and access terminal and then we're going to ssh into the raspberry pi now if you see this remote host identification error type open and copy paste that link and delete all of the contents within this file close the window and access your Raspberry Pi in the password as well. And then from here, going to copy paste the command. Now, don't worry, I've also left the link in the description. So just copy the entire line, paste it in terminal. Now you can sit back and relax and that entire script is going to do the next steps for you. Now, once the Docker is set up, Docker container, it will automatically restart. And then you want to give it a couple of uh, seconds or a minute for the entire system to come back online. Now, first thing, what you want to do is you want to just let Homebridge load. And then from there, you want to open up a new window and you want to go to access portainer. So it's the IP address of your uh, Raspberry Pi and using the port 9000. You want to go ahead and create a username and password. And then once that's completed, you can click on create user. And from there, you want to go to dashboard, containers, and you can see over here, all of your containers have been installed successfully and are running. Now let's go and access scripted. So the same IP address of your Raspberry Pi and the port is 10443. Show details, and then you want to visit the website. And that's scripted loaded for you in one easy script. Uh, using uh, a um, Docker, which is much more better and efficient and also can be upgraded over time. And with this being done, it works together with Homebridge on the same Raspberry Pi. Now, let's say you don't want to use this way. There is also another alternative way of doing it manually through Linux commands. Now, the problem here is when you want to do it with Homebridge, you start overwriting and sharing the same files. So there is a 50-50 probability with an error with the installation. So you really want to take note of that. And if you're using Zigbee 2MQTT and you've um, installed other add-ons with your home bridge, this may impact and may result in doing your entire setup. So my recommendation, if you are to go down the path of doing it manually through Linux commands, you have to do it with a 50-50 risk. My recommendation is go the Docker way 
it's much more easier, much more faster to install without any uh, copying pasting. But let's go and see that uh, manual install just in case you insist to do it manually. Now, before we go and install it manually, let me just go ahead and stop the container so we can do it on, on the same Raspberry Pi and we have no port issues when we try to access scripted. So with that stop, let's go and access this link over here. So I've also added in the description. So what we're gonna do is gonna move it to the left and open up terminal again. And you want to SSH back into the Raspberry Pi. First, you want to go ahead and update all of the packages. And then from there, you want to go and install Node.js. Once that's completed, you want to go ahead and install all of the dependencies. And then last but not least, let's go and copy the code to install scripted. Now from this moment on, it takes around about 15 to 22 minutes, again, depending on your internet connection. It's a pretty long install, so be patient. Now that's a confirmation that scripted service has been installed. You can go ahead and copy those four commands that are below. So you, you know what are the commands to start, stop, to enable and disable the service. So we can store it somewhere in a file. And if you're interested, you can even run and update the uh, NPM version as well. And once the packages are installed, all you have to do is now type sudo reboot and let the system restart. You want to give it a couple of seconds and then you want to go back to your uh, home bridge high IP address and wait for it to load again. Now once the system loads, wait for the entire plugin loading complete. Give it a couple of seconds and then you want to go and use the IP address of your Raspberry Pi using port 10443 to access the scripted interface. Click on show details and then visit this website. So this is another alternative way using Linux commands to load scripted on the same Raspberry Pi that is running Homebridge. And then if I go to Portainer, you'll see that the Docker version of it has stopped. So it's on the same Raspberry Pi. We have both the versions installed in it. And just like that, you have scripted installed on the same Raspberry Pi that has Homebridge already running. My recommendation is use the magical script so it doesn't interfere with your existing setup and it runs independently. If not, you can always do it manually by running those Linux commands. And let me know in the description which way you chose and is if for any particular reason, was it because of the Raspberry Pi 3 or because of the Raspberry Pi 4 hardware that you have on hand. And if you're still interested in any other Homebridge videos, I have some linked up over here. You can always access them to take advantage uh, right now. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Cheers and happy automation.